project for Miss Winter's class. And we have to do an inspirational person interview thing. And he's my inspiration person. Ezekiel. Uh, how old are you? I'm 15 years old and like 8 months. I was writing the story of my life and I needed to divide into chapters. I would divide my first chapter like from infancy to like age three to four. Because around that time I couldn't really speak so I was learning how to be a human and how to talk and poop and things. And then for my second chapter, I would probably divide it from like that age to like age ten. Because from that age I was more learning like learning how to speak all correctly and learning all of those things pretty much is learning the basics of being human and common knowledge. And then after that I just divide every single school year, like 6th grade, 7th grade, 8th grade, and 9th grade up because those years uh, were all different and they all had different morals and like things that I did. Next question, what has been the most influential experience in your life? My most influential experience, <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> did I say it right? <laughs> the most influential moment in my life was probably, um, around 5th grade, the end of 5th grade, um, my mom. She got like really, really sick and like she almost like died. Like, okay, so the medicine they gave Michael Jackson that he overdosed on, like they gave, like he only took like half of a bottle or like half of a container. They gave my mom two containers full and so she was really, really messed up and like I had to be like with my dad and like it was. It was just a moment in my life where I knew like I needed to take every moment and actually make it into something instead of wasting it. Right. Next question. Is the present better or worse than My present is a lot better than it was uh, before because my past was more me being like sad and just learning and having terrible experiences and doing things like that and now my future is more like or like my present I mean is more like me um, trying to help others and me knowing what I'm supposed to do and me knowing my own purpose and trying to help others and I think that's pretty cool. My dreams and goals have changed because my dream used to be like to have a good job and like have good credentials and make money and then like now I've realized that life isn't about making money it's more about finding your own purpose and being happy and making the people around you happy and it's changed a lot because I've realized that money isn't the biggest thing your credentials isn't the biggest thing it's your level of happiness and the attitude you give. I wish now I would have known that uh, I was going to be okay because, like, this probably sounds super cliche, but, like, there was, um, like, a lot of, like, tough times in my life, and I was just like, how am I going to recover from this, like, I'm not going to be normal, I'm never going to be the same, I'm never going to, I'm never going to be happy again. 
I don't want to eat, I don't want to do anything, and then, like, if I had known I was going to be okay, if I had known, like, I was going to meet people that actually cared about my safety and my well-being, then I, I don't think I would have done a lot of things I did to myself than I did to other people that didn't really deserve didn't really deserve, deserve me to do bad things. Okay. Okay, final question. What do you see, like, your purpose? What do you see your purpose in life? What is it? My purpose in life um, was always different, but I think now, my purpose in life is really just to make others and my surroundings a beautiful, like, harmony. I want to make everybody that I can happy, and I want to, like, make things right for other people. And I want people to know that they're going to be alright. Like, as I said earlier, I didn't, I didn't know if I was going to be okay. But I just want people to feel like they're okay and to know that there's somebody that cares about them, that everyone should deserve happiness. And I feel like my purpose is to bring happiness and like bring advice and just kind of just help others and teach them what they can do to help them learn. So, that's it. That's your outro? Yep, that's it. <laughs>